Hello there, everybody. It's Jesse. Those were jazz hands. And this is Revenge of the Q&A. Oh, goodness. I haven't slept. And it is now 10.24 a.m. I have a flight to London in five hours. So, yeah, this is probably the last thing I'm going to make. I tried to make a Fan Friday for this week. Totally failed. Uh, it, it, it was a game that I thought would be great that uh, turned out not to be so great and was actually really, really hard. So not only was it not fun to watch, it was really difficult to play. So we won't be doing that. Um, instead, I'll try and film some things while I'm in England, try to get some stuff done on my laptop, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure what the sound quality will be. Hopefully it'll be good, question mark. And I'll try to uh, do some vlogs and things. Other than that, we'll finish up uh, uh, Shovel Knight. There is more than enough footage of Cry and I playing Resident Evil 6. You'll have all of that. I think there's a Minecraft Middle Earth special coming your way. Um, and then another green light is also for this coming weekend. Uh, I'm going to try and have enough content, but Lord knows I can't promise it'll be there. Uh, I'm going to see if I can maybe do some like random uh, sort of indie games and things like that once I, uh, get done with the Shovel Knight series and, and sort of established at my, my hotel, but I don't know what's going to happen. We'll find out. Um, speaking of merry old England, there is a reason I'm there. It's for CoxCon 2014. Really? It's CoxCon 1, CoxCon 00. I don't know what we're going to call it. It's really just a one-night get-together that I wanted to have with you guys to sort of say thank you for all your support and also make up for Gemukon's cancellation. Um, since I was going to be there anyway, I figured might as well. I uh, got us a big room at the Namco Fun Center. So if you signed up on the website, thank you. If you haven't yet or you're like, where do I sign up? I will simply say Google it. I'm not going to give you where. If you really want to go, I'm sure you'll find a way to go. But... We are beyond at capacity right now. It's a free event, which was probably my mistake. I uh, wanted to be really nice and sort of give something back. But so many people signed up for this thing that I don't know if it's real people signed up or just people signed up because they could sign up and there was no cost. I figured we'd get a room and then everyone else could just sort of go have fun and play games and do whatever. The problem is my assumption was maybe 300 people max would show up. Um... And we passed that number a long time ago. I'm flattered, I'm humbled, but I'm also a little like, okay, so what do we do now? Which means, basically, uh, hopefully you'll find entertainment on your own, and you'll come with friends or whatever, and you'll go play games and things in the other parts of the, the fun center zone. Um, but in the area we have, it can only hold 150 people at a time. So hopefully people will funnel in, funnel out, they'll stop by, they'll say hello, you move in, you move out, da 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 Hopefully that's the way it'll work. If it doesn't, we will have to learn to improvise. Just to be clear, because I don't know if I was, I'm in a haze of not having slept. If you're on a waiting list, if it says, you know, you're on the waiting list for CoxCon, it doesn't mean anything, it just means that there's so many people going, I don't know if you'll be able to get in right away. But if you stick around... I promise you, you'll get in. I promise I will do whatever it is you want. A hug, a photo, an autograph, a slap on the butt. I don't care. It'll happen. But I'm just saying I don't know when that will happen. Uh, so bear with us. That's all I'm saying. Uh, also, while we're talking about CoxCon, the lovely ladies over at Game Tees have created, dare I say, the coolest damn t-shirt on the planet and poster. Um, I'll put the link right down below. It is really great. It is the first sort of CoxCon merch that exists. So if you want to buy that from them, even if you can't go, do it because it's freaking awesome. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to think what else I have. Um, I'll be at Gamescom. So if you can't make it to CoxCon, go to Gamescom. I'll be there. I'll be there all week. And then I'll come back and I'll probably be just super worn out. But I'll do vlogs and stuff from Gamescom. Let you guys kind of know what's been happening and what games I'm playing. Uh, hopefully you'll be interested in that. Uh, also, we'll have other videos going on at the time. I'm sort of preloading everything now. And uh, what else is on this list? I don't I don't really know. No, no. I tried Fan Friday. Failed. CoxCon. Got it. Game Tease. Got it. And Gamescom. Got it. Okay. Let's get down 
to questions. First question comes from Recab B, who says, I'm that hip guy that only plays the big titles. I was super hyped for Guild Wars 2, Team Fortress 2, Battlefield 4, Diablo 3, now Wildstar. You played all those games, and that's how I found your show, which I love. Thank you. I watch every single episode, but the last couple of years you've been playing titles that I have never really heard of, like Tesla Effect, Among the Sleep. Maybe it's because I'm not hip anymore. Arg, I miss the good old days. What happened? Um, I don't know. I just, I, I play what I enjoy. And so sometimes I enjoy indie games, and sometimes I enjoy big titles. Um, I think I just, you know, play what I can when I can and go from there. So sometimes I play big titles and get stuff done, and sometimes I I don't. I mean, it's it's I'm fortunate that I get to choose what I want to play. I think, honestly, if I was a smart guy, I would play only big titles when big titles are released and do like 80,000 videos in a day and then get the most hits possible. But I don't know. That's just not how I'm wired. I like to try and make each episode entertaining rather than just pound out episodes. And sometimes I'm successful and sometimes I fail. But um, I think that's where I'm at right now. Uh, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, you're not less hip. I'm just so hip that I do what I want, man. You can't tell me what to do. Look, I'm really tired. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> question the second. This comes from Pacosis, who says, Jesse, is your distinctive negative space beard patch intentional or neatly groomed? Or is it the perfectly centered coincidence of your facial hair growth? It is. It's all coincidence. I wish I could say this made any sense to me. It's always been there. I'm not sure what the deal is. But, uh, yeah. It just is. That's just the way it is. I don't know. If it's reversed, it's a soul patch. So I guess on me, it's a soulless patch? I don't know. It must be a ginger thing. Uh, I, have no, I have no clue why it's there. It just is. So, there you go. Uh, Dark Krenelf, this will be question the third, wants to know what my favorite movie is. I think I've said this before. Um, it's pretty safe to say at this point. I could narrow it down to three. Mostly because I only own three Blu-rays. Actually, four. One of them is the hilarious cult classic, the FP. But um, the ones that I bought with my own money are The Rock, which I'd say was my favorite action movie. Uh, the Shawshank Redemption, which I would say is my favorite, like, I don't know what you would call that movie. Drama? Question mark? And then my favorite holiday film, Die Hard. Those are the ones that I own. Uh, I don't really own a lot of movies, but I watch those with frequency. Um, other than that, I mean, I love movies. I love all movies, but I don't really have favorites. And I'm, I'm one of those people who's like, I don't need to buy it. I'll just I'll just watch it somewhere. So, yeah. that I don't know that that answered anything at all. All right. I'm going to go get packed and head to the airport. Thank you guys for watching. I will try to make one of these while I'm away as well. I hope everything is wonderful with you and everything is great and remember to the year of a million subs. As always, should we continue?